What's going on, Raider Nation? Before we get into the meat and potatoes, like I always say in this video, I just want to say first and foremost, thank you guys for watching. Do me a favor while you're watching, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and also do me a favor. As you know, I work for Stadium right now as the uh, Raiders uh, beat writer, and things are getting better and better every day. We've got a lot of good things going on. So do me a huge favor, Raider Nation, and please hit the link in the description where I go over every single draft pick that the Raiders made and gave kind of an everyday man's look outlook on each player. So do me a favor, check that out. Um, I'll have the link in the description, and uh, yeah, everything will be good going from there. So um, like I said, check out that link in the description, hit the link, and then uh, also hit that like and subscribe button. All right, now that I got the Raiders hat, Draft hat turned backwards, like it says, once a Raider, always a Raider. I am finally able to make a video like this because Josh Jacobs has done something that I've been wanting to do for years. And I'm fired up about this, Raider Nation. I'm going to get a lot of hate for this. I might get just nobody might like me anymore because of this. But I fucking love what Josh Jacobs did here. Uh, Score Mobile uh, released a uh, article, um, you know, talking about how Josh Jacobs had a fiery exchange with our fan base, and uh, I'm glad he did it because our fan base is fucking brutal sometimes, and it ain't right. You guys treated Derek Carr like shit. You treated every player that's left the team for money like shit. But here's the problem, Raider Nation: we're the problem. We're too. Critical as a fan base. It's not like we're winning championships. It really isn't. I mean, be honest, Raider Nation. I mean, I'm a content creator for this team. And I know that this is probably a really poorly run organization. Just by their record. It's not because of bad this. It's just because of bad organization. And Josh Jacobs left. He went to a team because they were going to pay him $12 million a year to play for them. And... Honestly and truly, it's literally just four one-year deals. So he might be released next year. But this is what I've always been saying about Raider Nation. Is that they deserve this. Fans need to come out, or I'm sorry, players need to come out and talk about how critical Raiders fans are towards their players compared to other franchises. And the worst thing is, the fucking team ain't successful. So you're being mean to players that are getting the shit kicked out of them, beaten up, beaten almost every game, not a reason, but before, and you still act like we're the fucking Patriots. We're not. We're a low-level team. And that's okay. That is okay. But I'm glad that Josh Jacobs finally called out the Raiders fans and the Raider Nation to say, hey, Y'all didn't even want me there when I was there. And that's been my biggest thing. Is every single thing and player that comes in here that isn't named Max Crosby gets shit on. Even Devontae Adams got shit on. He's the best fucking receiver in the world. And Raiders fans still had trouble with him. It's our fault, Raider Nation. It's our fault that players don't want to come back. This is why we lose players like Nelson Aguilar, who had a great year, and then he went and did shit. Even though him and Carr had a great relationship, he chased the money because he didn't want to play in Vegas anymore. Because the fans are brutal. And half the fucking stadium is the other team. So, Raider Nation, you gotta, you gotta park it back a little bit. I get intensity, I get fandom and all that, but us as Raiders content creators, we have to be more subdued like stop being so mad we lose every year what the hell's the difference i mean honestly it's not like shit has changed we had a franchise quarterback y'all hated him great we're stuck with aiden o'connell and gardner Minshew right now that's we're back to square one again because our fan base is so critical on social media and everything that players just don't feel like staying here. I mean, you guys are literally so critical of everybody. And I'm critical too. It's I'm yelling at myself as well here. I am yelling at myself. 
But this is the problem, Raider Nation, is that we as a fan base are so critical on these players is that none of them want to come back. And the ones that do, it's because the Raiders overpay them. That's why. I mean, come on. You think Christian Wilkins wants to be here because uh, he's a Raider and he wants to be? No, he chased the money. And he might be great for the team. The team might be great going forward. But I'm more looking at the past here. And this is what I've been saying. And this is why I quit social media. And you know what people might say in the comments? Well, quit again. You fucking suck. Great. Because Raider Nation is the most toxic fan base in the league. You hate everybody else that doesn't agree with you. You won't give them a fucking chance to talk. And that's Raider Nation. And you make everyone feel like shit. All those content creators. As soon as most of those content creators got big, they forgot all about me. And that's fine. Even though I helped most of them. You know, back in the day. But it's all good. Because... Our fan base is the one of the reasons why players don't come to Vegas. Now, I think the dynamic is changing because of the coach we brought in and the GM we brought in. But when Josh Jacobs comes out and says that shit, y'all didn't want me here anyway. Boom! Boom! That's why the Raiders aren't successful. As a fan base... You got to think about it here. And I keep interrupting myself, but I don't care. Football players are still human beings. And imagine if, as a fan base, you wish death on this guy every Sunday night when they lost. How would that make you fucking feel? How would it make you feel? Listen, I hope Josh James is super successful in Green Bay. I hope that he may earns all the money in the world that he does. But I think Raider Nation, you know, I mean, I'm sorry. In this article, I don't know who this guy is, Daniel Pucci. But he says, you could have left with a bit more professionalism or class. We loved having you. You were a dog. Just not sure why you took the deal you did to play elsewhere and not even post the meshes thanking everyone. Just doesn't make sense. You were a fan favorite and you're tripping. He was not a fan favorite. And he's not tripping. He's finally saying back to the Raider Nation because we didn't deserve a thank you. We didn't deserve a goodbye. Because we were all fucking mad at him because he left. They like, can't just wish him good luck. It's just a running back. Running backs aren't that important anymore in the NFL. Samir White, great. You know, I'm just saying it's a, it's a quarterback, wide receiver, wide receiver driven league now. If that didn't show you anything in the draft, I mean, come on, just watch the draft. But yeah. Uh, you know, uh, Daniel Pucci, thank you for sharing this so they made an article because uh, why does Josh Jacobs owe us anything? It's just a human being. But this is what I've been saying ever since I became a content creator for the Raiders is that the Raider fan base is so brutal to everybody. People that support the Raiders, they're brutal too. It's almost like we just hate each other. And it needs to stop. We need to start supporting these players as what they are. They're just football players that are playing in a jersey that we love and an emblem that we love. Stop being so fucking critical on them. They're just humans. They're not machines. They make a ton of money. But some of you do out there, you make a ton of money at your job and you fucking suck at it. It's life. But overall, I'm glad Josh Jacobs did what he did. And I'm glad that Raider Nation got a big fuck you back. Because it ain't right what Raider Nation does to content creators as well as players, coaches. You bother Mark Davis while he's watching a game? Come on. Would you want someone to bother you while he's watching a game? I get that's the way in the world that we're in, living now. And I, and I get it. I'm an asshole. I get it. But Raider Nation deserve this. They deserve this from Josh Jacobs because you guys said nothing positive to him when he signed with the Packers. It's a business. Shit happens. Move on. That's why the Raiders don't succeed, because they think about the past too much. Just saying, Raider Nation, get the fuck over it, and let's be a better fan base so people don't make fun of us anymore. We'll see you guys soon. Remember to hit the link in the description. Talk to you as always, and as usual, let's go, Raiders.